Hello coding enthusiasts. Today, we will be sharing with you a curated list of the best programming languages for kids. If you are just getting started with coding, these are some of the most fun, useful and powerful programming languages. Let's get started. Scratch is an interactive drag and drop programming language that allows users to make animations and games. It's a visual block-based programming language and is perfect for beginners. The best part about Scratch is that it comes with video tutorials for kids. The advantages of Scratch are that it's easy to use and has a kid-friendly interface with beginner tutorial support. The drawbacks are that it's mostly suitable for beginners and doesn't help kids learn real programming. Now that we have learned about Scratch, let's move on to Python. Python is one of the easiest programming languages for kids. It requires only a few code lines to get started and is very easy to understand, even for beginners. Many common functionalities that programmers need are already built in. Python is used in most advanced fields like cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, data science and web developments. Uncomplicated syntax, pre-built functionalities, huge and supportive online community are some of the advantages of Python. Some drawbacks include speed limitations and not supporting mobile app development. This was about Python. Next on the list is Java. Java is easy to learn, whether kids are brand new at coding or interested in learning an additional new language. It's widely used for developing applications on Android platforms. For kids who love Minecraft, Java is likely the best language to start with, as Java is the language of Minecraft. With its English-like syntax, Java is easy to understand and quick to learn. Applications built with Java are more robust as they are measurable and scalable. However, Java takes longer to master compared to other programming languages. Being a highly adaptive language with a massive backend environment and graphical interface support are some of the advantages of Java. The drawbacks include it being challenging for beginners and consuming more time to learn. Let's hop on to the next programming language, Ruby. Ruby is a dynamic, open source programming language with a focus on simplicity and productivity. It's super easy to learn and makes coding as uncomplicated as possible. Ruby is most used for building web applications. The best part about this programming language is that most of the codes are self-explanatory. What's more, its syntax is so high level and easy to understand that it's considered as close as you can get to coding in English. The advantages include it being easy to learn and a robust language. Less flexibility and slow processing are some of the disadvantages. Now that we have learned about Ruby, let's move on to C++. C++ is a general purpose programming language and is widely used for competitive programming. It looks more like math and might be challenging at the start. Once the fundamentals are clear, it becomes easy. Kids can create multiple apps, system software and games through C++. It's mostly used to develop cross-platform games. Supporting only platform-specific applications is a drawback. Next on our list is Swift. Swift is a convenient language to write software, whether it's for phones, desktops, servers or anything else that runs code. It's a safe, fast and interactive programming language. For students, learning Swift has been a great introduction to modern programming concepts and best practices. The best part about Swift is that it works on a simple drag and drop functionality, which is super convenient to use for development purposes. The advantages are that it's open source and easy to learn. It's also a fast and interactive language, best for developing apps on iOS platforms. The drawback lies in its slow compatibility with third-party tools. That's all about Swift. Let's learn about Lua now. Lua has been used for over two decades, but it's still relatively unknown. It's rarely used as a standalone programming language. Instead, developers use it as an embedded scripting language for individual programs. Lua is mainly used to create video games and game engines. The advantages of Lua are that it's fast in execution and easy to learn. Small standard library and user community and lack of built-in functionalities are some of the drawbacks. 
The next programming language on our list is Alice. Alice is an innovative blog-based programming environment that makes it easy to create animations, build interactive narratives, or program simple games in 3D. Unlike many of the puzzle-based coding applications, Alice motivates learning through creative exploration. Alice is designed to teach logical and computational thinking skills and fundamental principles of programming. The advantages include that it works on the drag and drop concept and is easy to learn. Alice being very laggy compared to other programming languages is a drawback. That's all we have about the best programming languages for kids, their unique advantages and drawbacks. The next important thing is to choose the best platform offering quality and value-added coding education to learn these programming languages. Codingle provides the most accessible and enjoyable path to learning how to code. Kids have so much fun that they hardly realize they are learning at all. Sign up for a free one-on-one -on -one trial class and start your coding journey today.